So you think cuff training is better than like regular? There, there are a lot of studies that show if you actually have the handle or bar in your hand, you do get more muscle activation, but do it feels good. So basically we're not having her do any carbohydrates until now because to keep a long story short, um, we're trying to get rid of excess water that she was holding on to due to the traveling, coming back, resting, um, sleeping all day on Wednesday, and just a whole lot that was going on coming back from Vegas, just from stress, um, the rigors of, of travel her having a, a little bit of a larger cheat meal the night of the show um, on Saturday. So we this whole week we've been kind of playing catch up to get her body back on track with uh, where it should be leading into the show. So we had to pretty much deplete her this whole entire week. Um, and then it wasn't until last night her body was holding on even more water. Um, she was about four or five pounds up from... Um, from what she normally is going to bed. So we had to do a few things to, to correct that. Woke up this morning. Um, she was almost to her normal morning weight of, of around 115 pounds. Um, not ideal being one day out from the show. So today we've been playing a little bit conservative with her, her water intake is still about a gallon. Um, and her food has been conservative. This is like, she, like we just said, her third meal of the day and this is the first day with carbohydrates or the first meal with carbohydrates only 100 grams of rice the next meal is likely going to be no carbohydrates and just protein as well then the last meal of the night is probably going to be a higher carbohydrate meal and we're probably going to drink wine as well to help create a diurse effect so she starts peeing more throughout the night and create a little bit more of a drier effect first thing in the morning um, and that's what we're hoping to do to try to correct everything that's been going on with her body this week i think we have a good game plan and i think this is going to do work and uh hopefully we get the outcome that we want set, uh, tomorrow morning let's see your abs hey we're getting ready god <laughs> so why, why are you drinking wine right now because coach told me to. i knew you were gonna say that let's go this is coach's corner <laughs> he's supposed to be vlogging coach style like behind the scenes for this vlog and he keeps asking me questions but he should be turning it on because i keep forgetting okay so coach why do you have me drinking red wine tonight the night before the show to ease the nerves and stress of this bikini lady right here and that's this one. true that is true <laughs> i am stressed to the max that's really it's not really about like drying out or like having like no, yeah like you know being drier in the morning it's really about reducing it's your reducing guys' stress levels <laughs> and anxiety <laughs> and so we sleep well yeah yeah sleep it's well. for better sleep reducing cortisol levels and a little bit of vascularity in the morning there you go that's 100 percent the reason yeah diuretic you know it kind of and kind of like a nightcap for a prep yeah. Type of thing. It's just kind of tradition now. We've been doing this since yeah. Junior USA's 2019. Yeah. So we just wrapped up finals, or <laughs> not finals. We just wrapped up pre judging uh, like an hour or so ago. Um, and there was only four girls in my class, class D. Um, one of the girls in my class I knew was going to be there, Maria. And that was the first time we got to compete together. So we were both split center. Um, so we'll see tonight at finals how that goes. Um, she looks really good though. I think it's uh, could be either one of us in the first place spot really. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I had fun. Um, I think that this was probably my best look this season. Yeah? Think I would so? say so, yeah. Yeah. All right. Tampa Pro's a wrap. We wound up in second place. Um, obviously, we come to win, so it is what it is, though. You never know what the judging panel is going to be looking for at every show, um, standing in front of new judges at each show. show. So um, we just take what we learned from this show weekend, and we move on to the next one, which we do have another show this coming weekend at Florida State, which is in Orlando. 
Um, so yeah, we will hopefully have a little bit easier of a peak week this week than last week. And I'm actually really happy with what we brought this week, especially considering where I was 36 hours before the show. Um, and this was probably my favorite look, honestly. So I'm happy with it and ready for the next show. And then the one after that, and then the last one, and then we're done. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the things, and we'll see you next time.